Divorce is a Ponzi scheme. In 2014, did you know, the women that made it to the 100 richest list, only two made their money with their own skills. The rest, the other 98 women, divorce. Stop the cat. You ain't out there grinding and getting money. Y'all are marrying dudes. And after they've put their sweat and equity into thinking this was forever, following the 80% of women are the initiators of divorce rule. Y'all ran out there, got divorced, and then took that man's half of that man's money, alienated from his children. Stop the cap. You ain't build nothing. You came to steal and destroy. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. The Lord bless you. It's been a while. Uh, God bless you. Good to see you on my channel. All right. Uh, I want to quickly drop my sincere opinion from the biblical perspective on the issue of this uh, Morocco. Uh, uh, is it Morocco or Morocco uh, football player? I would just uh, um, the wife, you know, uh, just fight for the voice. Now, the guy uh, news uh, story has been trending online, all right? So, I want to drop my uh, sincere opinion on the issue from biblical perspective. You know, sometimes Christians, children of God, it is not always too okay for us to see things from the world perspective or from the perspective of the public. It's always good for us to see things from the scriptural perspective, all right? All right, before I... Uh, I drop my opinion. I delve into that. Please kindly do me a favor. If it's your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, subscribe, please. And then turn up the notification bell. In that way, you always be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. All right. God bless you. And to all my returning subscribers, I want to say God bless you and thank you. Now, a lot of guys, a lot of persons, especially men, ninety percent, they are applauding uh, these. Uh, Akim on the deci his decision for you know for using his mother name in all his properties all right now many are celebrated for various reasons firstly I will not judge Akim for what he did I will not say what he did is right or what he did is wrong I want to speak from scriptural perspective first the Bible says for this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife. That's what the Bible says. There's nothing short of that. Now, when it comes to your marriage, what comes first is your marriage. What comes first is your partner, not your father, not your mother, not even your children. The first thing that comes first is your partner. So, in my own perspective, from scriptural perspective, he said he shall cleave. Do you guys know the meaning of that word cleave? That is it. However, Firstly, so whatever decision you are taking, your partner calls first. That's what the Bible said. But unfortunately, we find ourselves in a in a terrible generation, a generation where people are full of themselves, a generation where people are fooled with the mindset of scam. You understand? In anything they do, some person are not born again, they want to look for they, they look for an opportunity to exploit their neighbor. You listed it to me like you agree with me that in this generation, not all ladies, not all guys who enter marriage actually enter the marriage with the mindset to build a life to death to their partner. No, many enter to scam their partner. Are there not guys today who are looking for rich guys to scam? I've seen it on social media. They are gold digger, just the way they are gold digger for ladies, they are gold digger for guys. So now when you get married, from my own perspective, your wife confessed. That is it. Your wife, so those who wrote on social media say that uh, your wife is not a family member, that is bad dash. Your wife is the closest person, suppose your partner is supposed to be the closest person to you on earth than anybody. Can you make her before your father and your mother since they are the closest? Can you make her before your siblings since they are the closest? So your partner confessed. But however, it's unfortunate that some persons, even me talk, I'll use myself as a case study. I want to be real. Some persons find themselves in the hands of what I would call vipers. Let me digress here. When I got married, 
when I got married, uh, I get to discover, for what I was told, I didn't go there, but that my, because, uh, uh, okay, my mother-in-law and the, 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 the father and the, the mother, they were actually living apart. So I never, I was never opportune to see the father until the day of the wedding or the, the, the day of the traditional marriage. Okay, let's be not, I'm not diving much into that. So after marriage, I discovered what the mother, the, the mother of uh, uh, my ex-wife does was fry Akara, what Nigeria call Akara. That was the business she does. Now, knowing where I come from, I know if my family discovered that, it's going to be a slap to me. So, I honorably spoke, to, honorably sp uh, spoke with the woman, so spoke to her. I said, I want your mother to change her trade. Please speak to your mom. I also speak to her to know if she would change her trade. Because I for time respect people's will and opinion. The woman was very, very eager. She wanted to change. So, I did my little best to send her force to change her trade, which was good. And in my own little way, I tried to assist yearly, you understand, to boost the business. Okay. Even as at 2019, before the, the, the daughter left the marriage, I sent the mom 50k in January before the daughter left, I think in August. A younger sister, I see go hand deadly, sponsor this young girl in school. Please follow me closely, I'm going somewhere. I see go hand deadly, spoke so hard. The only time I did pay her school fees was in year theory. And it was because of this lady, with all due respect to her, she was just full of pride. You imagine somebody you are sponsored when they tie call for school fees. You must be the one to call her to remind her what at this. And even when she received the money, she wants you to call her, even if it's days later, to ask her, ah, did you get it? Before she would reluctantly say, oh, I got it. So, because of that pride, when it got to your theory, I said, I not speak anything about it. And she didn't tell me. So, she did it. It was after the awkward already paid. Or the uncle in Canada, she was now trying to stop me again. Another uncle called by the name Josana said, Don't pay. The uncle already paid. So, on year one, year two, year four, I did all the payments. Please, I'm not saying this with 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 uh, with the aim to malign her or her family. No, I just I'm, I'm just being real here. I want to use it to portray my point. Now, I just said the little thing I did for the family. So, for my story, you see that I actually took the family as my own. What happened? There was a day in 2019, few days to August. This lady, the supposed mother of my kid, was supposed to be a wife. There was a, she was using what my SIM card was in her phone. So my Nigeria, uh, because my GTB account is for non-Nigeria residents, so I received a lot here. So my younger sister said she did it and her time. There was nobody with that account. I sent her. Her time of just 200 naira, which is less than 10 rand in South Africa. Which is less than a dollar, I guess. I sent her a time of 10, of 200 naira. So, because she was with my phone, she's, uh, my sister was one of their phone, she forgot the alert. It was a time I said to my younger sister, guess what? This lady could not hide her feelings. She started insulting me, saying, um, uh, why is she disgracing her husband? Can't her husband buy her a time? Asking somebody else. That she's married, does that mean she's not my younger sister? If I can see all that, what's Tommy for seven years? So just a time to her. She insulted me. That was when I looked at this lady. I said, you, you are a devil. Just last week, I said that your sister asked me for, for you saw also a lot. She asked for a uh, body for, what's it called? For, for rent. I assisted her. This same your sister some months ago. I said that for the school fee. Some months ago, I said your mother 50k. Just 200 naira at time. I said to my younger sister, you are insulting you. Even if you're hungry, you could not even wait. You are using it to insult me. Bring it. I told her you are a devil. It all started. It was in August she left. Now, this human, whenever I do any little assistance, she noticed it. She flared up. So now, Put yourself is in the shoe of such a man, my shoe. If such person was privileged to be your life, she has already shown you the kind of person she is. It's all about herself and her family. So such a man, if such a person happened to be your life, you must be clever. You must be wise. Even if you give a pin to a stranger and you didn't take permission from her, this lady is ready to break your head. It happened severally. So I'm not going into that. So if you not happen that such person, that come into your life is someone who is full of themselves. 
You don't trust their love and loyalty to the marriage. I'm not going to other things about that, but I just use it to buttress this point. What would you do? Can you uh, trust such a person with your words? There are many things I just cannot say in this thing because they are, they are not relevant. They don't look as if I'm digressing for the point. So what would you do? You must be so. That is why, I, like I said, it depends on the partner you marry. If you notice it earlier, say, man, that this partner you marry is only about herself and it's only about her family. And there is a possibility in future she wants to use marriage to scam you. To scam you. Fight for divorce to extort you. Please, as matter now. As matter now. Yes, as matter. But if you don't notice, I've got sisters. My immediate elder sister, when they were building their fosters, the husband were it around, buying the land, building everything, building the, the, the house and everything. The husband would come, give her a million, one million. My sister did all the building, body for the man. That was the kind of marriage I wanted. You will trust your weight. Every set you have, you will trust it in the woman. That was what I wanted. But unfortunately, I found in my, myself in the hand of a very terrible soul until God, you know, God, God until God kicked her out. So, this video is not to my life. I'm just being real here. Know the kind of partner. If you are a lady, notice that the girl came to your life because of what you have. Please, be smart. Be smart. There's something called, is it prenum? There's something called, uh, uh, in English, there's something called, uh, there is something called, is it, I think it's prenum. Yeah, it's called prenum. So, you must make him or her, if you say it before you marry, maybe you say it before you get going to the marriage, you must force the partner to sign what is called prenum. What is prenum? The definition of prenum is called an agreement made by a couple before they marry concerning the ownership of their respective assets should the marriage fail. That's the meaning of prenum. So get an agreement. Let the you say see this person is likely to be a gold digger or this. If you are privileged to say such a person, sign it. Sign it. Make sure you sign that a uh, sign an agreement what will happen to your individual asset property should the marriage fail for your own good, for your own peace of mind. However, from spiritual perspective, your partner confessed. If she's the lawyer type to the marriage and you trust her love, this person is not a shit. This person will not, uh, this person will not assassinate you tomorrow because of another man. You, you trust her love, you trust his love. Please, they come first. Some women want to use, so, okay, uh, let me round up with this. Here in South Africa, the reason, here in South Africa, the reason, the, the, the here in South Africa, the reason, the the reason uh, now, before you enter South Africa uh, court, before you go into any court in South Africa, you must. Uh, I was a little bit distracted, I'm sorry. So, before you go into any court in South Africa, you must pass through a screening machine that will screen you thoroughly to be sure that you are not with any harm. What made there to come up with that decision was uh, there was a time a lady got married to a very wealthy man. And like here in South Africa, when you're in the relationship with a guy for just six months, the constitution consider you married, both of you as partners. So if if for any reason you go to opt out of that relationship, you must share your 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 asset equally. So this lady got married to a very, very wealthy man. Six months later, she fight for divorce. Is it that obvious that she came to a start? So she fight for that voice on the day the judge gave the judgment that uh, the the man must share is uh, according to the law must share whatever he has with the woman equally. The guy brought out his pistol, uh, you know. Uh, I don't want to. I don't, I'm trying to use my word because of YouTube uh, because of YouTube tips. So he brought out his pistol. You understand? You know, attack the the judge himself, finish the judge, finish himself, and finish the lady. Are you getting it now? So that is why they now brought up before you go into any court, the start card was a totally screen. So my point is this: some partners come into your life to kill, to steal, to destroy. This generation, some ladies, especially guys in abroad, 
can attest to this. They see marriage, they see divorce as a scam. Just imagine a hookup person is not too born again, enter somebody's life. That hookup mentality, she's going to bring it to the marriage. That is the truth. So, this Akib story is a uh, is you is not condemned, but we never condemn it. Imagine they said the lady is already ready. Okay, if she's ready, you are even 12 years older than this guy. Now, why on earth will you go to court to demand for 80 percent of the mass wealth? If you are not greedy, you are already ready. Why not even demand for 50 50? But she demanded for 80. So it means Akim already says the kind of person this lady is, and the uh, what not is capable of doing the future. That what made, made him do what he did. I so kudos for him for that. But if you marry a lady you know you trusted, this person is loyal, you trust her love to you, you trust her love and loyalty to the marriage, please. A trust and your life, everything is such a lady. I tell you, you will go far. Use people like a uh, Bobby Edesha, Daddy Edesha, for example. Look, just check other people, other great couples who are doing well together, godly people, Christians. Are you getting me? So, so, uh, this Akim story is not applicable to all, but there are cases is applicable. Just like a video you watch before this, the man said. That voice is a scam, and a lot of wedding ladies have uh, become wedding as a result of uh, you know that voice. All right, God bless you. Please ensure you do me a favor by sharing this video with others. Thank you. I will see you in my next video, Mama. Please talk about Akim and his wife. Wait, I want to talk about Akim. Akim is an African man, Morocco, Moroccino, Moroccan, not Africa. African men, if they knew they come up, especially those 16, 17 years, they could touch money, is their parents' name that is in their property. It's not a new thing. It's only 24 years old. And the woman where he married is 36. The woman senior around with 12 years, my dear. And you see something. The guy now a big footballer. He did play for big football team for France. You understand me? A mama just could go say, my picking. You know, say you understand why to wash the western world, the country where we are day. Just go, go leave my name for everything. I don't know how the tape planner, but if you look at it, 24. This guy, 24 years for Africa, fear not let you bring carry to to class. You won't die. You understand me? Say you can't get money. It's an African man. Mommy name me property. I have the siblings till today till tomorrow. My pa the UK for year. He name still their property. You they hear me so? They use Papa name to buy land, use Papa name to build us. I don't know about the teenagers who were there these days, all these 20 years old, I want to buy car, I want to carry Toto. I don't know about them. But those days, their father and mother's name, now they did property. Akim is an African man. What do you expect? Oh, you want it to Western world? It is in your Nigeria brothers. We don't play football, so mother go marry, you both forget yourself, or you both carry property. See, divorce, now a big thing. Some men, they, once they divorce, they sleep the trade station. You they hear me so? Woman will collect hats from them. They do ordinary ground. I beg go. I get picking and I get total. You understand me? So I know they support that thing. Three years in marriage, say they accuse the guy of rape. You won't run. Madam, accuse my husband of rape. Don't be say guilty of rape. They accuse my husband of rape. I want to live in marriage. Are you crazy? You are looking for money. Is it you that set it up? Stand by your husband first. Okay? It's not guilty until proven guilty. You feel me? If it's guilty, Baba, you also you'll be rapist. You're a great piece. As far as you hasn't been proven guilty, I sit down your cutter for my matrimonial bed. They wait for court results. You feel me? So I don't like all those. I want to divorce her. property. I want half of it. No, my master, in fact, I don't change my mind. As I turn millionaire like this tomorrow, I will pull my papa name from my property. See something? Me and my husband will suffer. My husband not rich when I know I know rich. Say today now we can't get big money. Way. If I carry us, you not go cry. He carry us, I not go cry. You know why we suffer put together. Come on, I, for what you not get. When your mama they carry and go football training, you were not there. Mommy, sit down on top the money, enjoy yourself, collect her, leave your name till death do you part. Whenever you like, hand over to your son. He's still a small boy.